Today we're in downtown Jacksonville, Florida at the North Bank Riverwalk Kayak Launch. And I'm here for one reason, my wife. So she came across a post that was talking about uh, hidden urban kayaking spots. And it turns out we have one here in Jacksonville. Uh, it's called McCoy Creek. And when she first sent it to me, I took a look on the map and I'm like, that has to be wrong. I mean, it seems to like a dead end in the middle of the city. Well, it turns out that there is a 600 foot tunnel that goes under the Times Union building and accesses the creek. So we're gonna check that out today. A little bit lower right here on the launch. This is officially my first time paddling on the St. John's River. Definitely a bit bouncy because of the boat traffic, but they usually don't go too fast through here, so it's not much of a problem. All right, you guys have to see this view. I mean, if you want downtown urban kayaking, this is the spot. I mean, this is gorgeous. So straight ahead, that drawbridge you see open is actually for the trains. Um, I believe it's still in use today, but I've never seen it down and I've never seen a train on it. So according to the map, McCoy Creek is supposed to be straight ahead, just past that dock, before you get to the overpass. Now, I wasn't too sure about McCoy Creek because I've seen one video on it, and that 600-foot tunnel is dark. It is spooky. So, I actually took a uh, flashlight and put it in a sealed-up bag so it floats and stays dry and uh, if it gets too dark and I can't see, I at least have that. At the end of the tunnel, there's this very low grate, and the video I saw, the guy on the paddleboard had to get way down to get under it, so hopefully we're gonna fit. I'd really hate to get all that way and have to turn around. All right, I think we're coming up on the entrance, so I'm gonna turn the camera around. So I think it's just past these rocks on the left. Or not. Where is the entrance? Well, there's the Times Union building, so it has to be nearby. Maybe it's under this uh, walkway up ahead. That uh, looks promising, let's check it out. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Yep, there it is. I mean, I can't even see a light at the end of this thing. Oh, there it is, way down there, there's the grate. A little spooky. We have maybe four feet of clearance in here. Lots of spiders. Does not smell great. I see those other kayakers up ahead, so that's good. What's up guys? Good, I made it. <laughs> this is spooky. Yeah, first time down here. Yeah, so you have to go into the grate? Exciting. <laughs> have a good one. Yeah, so that first part felt like an overpass. And here we actually have like a nice tunnel. I swear, if I see a floating red balloon and a creepy clown, I am out of here. So the grate's coming up. There's like a super low part, which looks like about three feet of clearance, and then there's a high part. So I just have to get under this first part, and I should be good to go. All right, so I'm having to pretty much lay down in the kayak to get through here. I mean, it is really low. When you're six foot two, this is difficult. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay, I guess slightly higher there. And we are through it. 
All right, so above us there are these uh, beams still, and these like bulging sidewalls, which are not very comforting. And then up ahead is a true uh, urban creek in the middle of the city. And this creek um, gets extremely narrow up here. So this could be a really good habitat for alligators. Now, when I went to the Guana Preserve in uh, Ponte Vedra, supposed to have the highest concentration in the county and I saw nothing. What's really cool is when you look at the map, I mean, we're in the middle of you know, buildings and neighborhoods, but when you're down here, you really can't tell. Definitely keep my eyes peeled here. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I am talking to myself to keep myself calm because as you know, I am really afraid of alligators. But for the sake of content creation, I am out here trying to find these buggers. Now you would not know you were in a major metropolitan city right now, would you? What you're hearing are our infamous southern cicadas. So the water back here is very stagnant. Um, it smells pretty bad. I want to keep going, I don't know. So I see quite a few low-lying branches ahead of me. Um, a very shallow spot coming up. I'm gonna see if I can get through. If I can't, I'll probably just have to turn around. I gotta kinda go around these branches. And it's like, which side do I go on? I'm gonna try the right. Spider webs, all right. Okay. I'm going to turn around now just because of the smell. I mean, it smells like toilet water down here, so don't feel like catching anything today. Yeah, if anyone's ever tried to stay dry while kayaking, it is impossible. So based on the smell of this water, I'm definitely going to need a nice long shower when I get home. The 600 foot tunnel and the low grate, definitely difficult to get through, but it was worth it. Um, McCoy Creek is really nice. Uh, when you get to the more shallow areas, it does start to smell pretty badly because the water is fairly stagnant there. But overall, I mean, this is a great spot to kayak and you're just going to see parts of the city that you usually don't get to see. You know, what's really great is that this is right here in the heart of Jacksonville. I've probably driven around this thing and over it several times. I had no idea it was here. So we're headed back now and I'm gonna have to go through the tunnel again. And although I am a grown man, it is a little scary. Oh, there's a turtle right in front of me. Oh, okay, I gotta get to my camera. Turtle. Oh, hey, buddy. That's the first thing I've caught on camera that wasn't a bird in forever. All right, so we know there are turtles in here. And I've seen small fish so far and quite a few birds and that's about it but I've seen uh, zero alligators so far behind me what you can see is the uh, large red grate that we have to get under followed by the tunnel so I'm gonna keep the camera on me going back through so you can uh, just see the sheer panic in my face the entire time Sorry guys, the camera decided to turn off as I was going through there. Good. You're gonna have to get like this low up ahead. Okay. To get it. Yeah, it's super low today. No gators, right? Not yet. I saw turtles. No gators. Uh, 
see, I'm not the only person who goes up like gators. All right, so going back through the tunnel. Um, way less scary than the first time. Mostly because I've already been through it once, I know what to expect. And instead of it opening to a very small, narrow creek, it's opening to a very large waterway. Yeah, the first time through, I thought this part smelled funny. When you get way back in McCoy, that's when it's a bit smelly. But man, this is a really cool trip. I mean, if you're looking for an adventure in your own town and you happen to live in this area, check it out. You know, get on Facebook groups, um, do some searching, just try to find these little hidden spots in your own town. I had no clue this was here and I'm so glad I came. I'm also really surprised to not see any bats in here. I just thought about that. There, you think there'd be bats living in here? And there probably are, I just don't see it yet. Alright, so it wasn't that bad, was it? Oh! Okay. So earlier I said I've never seen this bridge move. And I guess it's still active and operating because there it goes. All right, so I was only planning to explore McCoy Creek, but I've always been interested in this particular bridge. So we're gonna do a little bit more of a tour of downtown Jacksonville. Hey, you can see all the boats going through after waiting for the bridge to go up. It's fighting me there. Yeah, and just talking about the wildlife, I mean, straight ahead's uh, another great egret very common around here. And that is a hawk flying overhead. Probably gonna snatch a fish pretty soon. So shooting dead ventures can get a little sketchy at times. Battery died while I was going through the city there. There's no place to really get out and change batteries. So I found this little construction spot that I had to get behind this floating barge that is holding a large crane. So if you guys can see that behind me. Yeah, so I had to kind of get in this little active construction zone in order to brace myself between these two pylons and change my battery out. But that's, you know, one of the things I love about kayaking is getting into these spots that you can't get into otherwise. I'm not saying it's the smartest thing in the world, but it's doable. And like I said, we were in the park downtown from the water is not something you can get anywhere else. Straight ahead is the Main Street Bridge. It's probably the most recognizable bridge in Jacksonville. It's one of my favorite drawbridges because it doesn't open uh, your, I guess, clamshell style like a lot of them. Um, that entire middle section goes straight up on those two pylons. So what a lot of people don't realize is that Jacksonville is actually the largest city in America by square miles. Uh, it's very spread out, and that's because of the 1950s, Duval County and Jacksonville City became one and the same. Uh, to give you a comparison, Jacksonville covers just over 900 square miles, and the state of Rhode Island is about 1,200 square miles, making it three quarters the size of Rhode Island. And as far as Florida goes, Jacksonville is the most populated city. That's because it's so spread out and includes such a large area. Uh, unlike Miami, which is smaller and more concentrated. So you're probably gonna think Miami's bigger because it has the high rises, it's um, you know very densely packed, uh, but Jacksonville is actually top of the list. Something I love about this city is how they really embrace the nature that is throughout the county. You know, there's always events um, in Riverwalk here, uh, on the water, and you know, that they put in more parks and they do a lot for nature uh, throughout the city. All right, so we're about to go under the Main Street Bridge, so I'll turn this around for you guys. I've been out here for about two hours now. That's longer than I expected, but it doesn't feel like it because there's just so much to look at. I mean, I've seen the city before, I've lived here for several years, but this is my first time really seeing it from this view. It gives you a whole new appreciation for where you live. I'm not sure how far down I want to go. I see uh, the taller buildings are ending. 
uh, but there's some kind of sculpture up ahead of me, so I want to see what that is. All right, so what is this crazy sculpture? That's pretty cool. I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but there it is. I think what's really interesting right here, which I've not noticed before, is the contrasting architecture. You go from these very tall buildings, and then you come around this corner, and you have almost this old town Main Street feel with all these small shops and even like this old uh, J.H. Churchwell Dry Goods Company. Oh, and back over there you can see the Florida Theater in front of the J.E.A. building. It's kind of a shame because that, I'm sure at one time that big old sign on the side of the building was visible across the water and that was before this hotel was built. I'll have to come back here and do a part two because I don't know a lot about the buildings and the history of Jacksonville, not as much as I do St. Augustine, and it's something I definitely want to explore and talk to you guys about. I think we're going to turn around soon. Okay, so I was wondering why I was making such great time and covering so much ground. The water looks calm, but it's very deceptive. There's actually a pretty strong current that when I turned around, I noticed I was paddling and not going anywhere. So right now I'm kind of fighting this current, trying to get back, and I'm getting pretty tired. I mean, I'm slowly making ground, but yeah, when you're downtown, there's really no place to take a break. Uh, I do see a dock up ahead for water taxis. So if I can make it there, I can just hang on to it for a little bit, let my shoulders take a rest. At this pace, I probably have 10 more minutes till I can hang on to something and take a break. The water taxi spot was farther ahead than I wanted. So I found this little cutout between these two cement blocks so I can take a break. Man, this just went from one of the most fun kayaking trips I've had to one of the most exhausting. All right, we're gonna move ahead. <laughs> so, Okay, it was about seven minutes, not 10, to get here to this uh, water taxi uh, dock. And luckily there's a nice uh, nice cleat you can grab onto here. Sorry I'm out of breath, but man, that took forever. Yeah, be careful to give yourself a little bit of breathing room on these things, because a big wave can come through, and if your kayak goes under the dock, it can get stuck and then get flooded really quickly. All right. Enough of a break. Uh, luckily, there was enough to hang on to most of the way down, so we're gonna keep on going. I think we're gonna see the bridge move again. If I could time this just right, I could be under it looking up when the train goes over. The train should be here soon. Two tracks, I can't tell which one it's gonna be in. Luckily, trains are long, so hopefully I can uh, move if I have to. Answer that question. Okay, so if you ever wanted to know what it was like to be under a train, now you know. And nobody died. That's the best part. So I guess now I could say I've been ran over by a train and live to tell about it. So if for some reason you don't go to the Riverwalk launch and you're coming in the opposite direction, uh, McCoy Creek is right there. So when you pass the creek, you actually seem to keep past a lot of the currents and it can go a bit faster. I was nowhere near hitting the speed earlier. It's taken about twice as long to get back as it did to get out there. So today's lesson is to pay attention to the current. I was not doing that. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Raymond James for putting this dock here. I don't know why it's here. I'm just glad it is. Whew, I am tired. Okay, we're back. 
Okay, so that was McCoy's Creek, Jacksonville, Florida. Definitely worth the trip. Uh, you're gonna wanna check it out. It is September now, Labor Day weekend, and uh, this is supposed to be closing, uh, I think sometime later this year. So before they close up the tunnel, definitely get into kayak and come check it out. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. Until next time, keep having adventures.